Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Kyle Tietz. Today in the Gospels, Jesus speaks about the importance of our senses, of our ears to hear and our eyes to see. And he quotes a little bit from the prophet Isaiah, speaking against those who have ears but did not actually listen, and those who have eyes but did not actually see. And I think it goes to show that simply you know, having our senses isn't enough, but we need to have a level of understanding or a level of reflection or a level of intentionality in listening and seeing uh, the good news of Jesus Christ. It isn't just that we hear it and it's like, oh, now it's all good, or we see Jesus and that's all good. Because at Jesus' time, he was uh, sort of criticizing some of the people. He said, you know, the prophets were longing to see what you see, but they didn't. They were longing to hear what you now hear, but they didn't. And he's talking about himself, that they hear now the Son of God, Jesus Christ in the flesh in front of them. But the prophets believed, but sometimes the people Jesus was speaking to didn't believe. So there's a difference simply between seeing and hearing and really understanding, really unfolding the message in the presence of Jesus. I was reflecting a little bit on the sacrament of baptism. There's a prayer called the Ephatha prayer where we pray over the ears and the mouth, asking the Lord to open the ears and open the mouths of little babies so that they can hear the word of God and proclaim it with their lips. Kind of a similar message here for us today. And along with this is what Jesus talks about at the beginning of the gospel, uh, the importance of parables. People ask him, why do you speak in parables? And it kind of seems like Jesus gives an answer like, well, I don't just don't want, you know, at first glance it might seem that it's like, I just don't want anybody to understand these parables. <laughs> but really what he's saying is, and I'm speaking my words of truth to you, and it requires ears to hear and eyes to see. There's a level of depth and reflection and trust that's needed to dig into the, the depth of these messages that I'm giving in these parables. It's not just like and Jesus is just going to say, God loves us, you know, forgive others. Right? It doesn't have the quite level of the depth and the profundity that the parables do. And actually our saint for today, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, offers a little reflection uh, about this gospel reading, and he says, uh, parables are kind of like a treasure chest, right? If the Word of God, God's gift for us, His message is a treasure, right? We wouldn't just leave that lying around anywhere out, but we put it in somewhere special, like a treasure chest or an ornate box or something like that too. And then we know that, oh, something very important is going on here. And he says the parables are like the treasure chest, right? They point us and say there's a deep, profound message here and it requires us to understand and unfold them a little bit, right? We can't simply just look and, or hear without thinking or without loving God, but we need to enter into more deeply uh, in order to understand Jesus' message. So overall today, brothers and sisters, Jesus talks about our senses, but a reminder that we simply don't just hear and then it's all good, or see and then it's all good, but there's a level of reflection, a level of trust in Jesus, a level of depth to it too, that we need to be willing to not only listen, but to really hear, not only to see, but to truly understand the message of Jesus in our lives, because Jesus continues to speak to us and present to us. We see him at Mass and the Eucharist and one another and the priest and the sacraments. We hear Jesus in his holy scriptures and the words that he's passed on to us. So dear brothers and sisters, today we give thanks for Jesus who is here in the flesh, who spoke his words so that we might hear and was present among us so that we might see him. God bless you. Have a great day.